everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna, we're on a truck today. So take two. <laughs> Pretty good, bud. You're getting the hang of it. Anyways, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, we're gonna be installing a filter back exhaust on my 2007.5 Chevy Duramax. So stay tuned. All right, so today we are going to be working on my uh, GMC Sierra 2500 HD uh, Duramax. We're going to be changing out the exhaust. Uh, we're only doing a uh, filter back because I don't want to mess with any of the emissions and all that stuff. But uh, I figured I'd film it just so anybody interested in just getting one would know exactly how to install it, uh, if it changes the sound, or anything like that. But the main reason why I'm changing it is let's look under here under the truck and show you guys. When I bought the truck, I didn't even notice this. But check this ghetto crap out. We just got a hanger holding this stock exhaust on here. Just hanging here. There's no gasket or anything and this thing is moving like that. So when you start it up and you start to hear it, it shakes like that. So we're gonna go ahead, try and get rid of that. All right, so here it is. This is what comes in the package. It comes with three pieces of pipe and the hardware. And uh, this is the MBRP four inch uh, filter back exhaust right here so the removal is actually pretty easy um, first of all you would undo the three bolts that you have here but I'm just gonna undo my hanger because <laughs> it's all hoopty but we'll go ahead and do that and then to get out the section of the uh, muffler actually is what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a sawzall and cut this off right here and then we can remove the muffler and then the the other piece of the pipe will just come right out so there's a hanger right up here and a hanger back there take it off the hanger and then we'll be able to slide it right out. Okay, as you can see, there's a hanger right here and then the other hanger is right here. So once you pull those two off, now the reason why you have to cut this is because you can't really snake it around the axle and then have it push forward up here. Now the only way I could see if you did is if you jacked your car way up or you're on a lift or if you had a big uh, lifted truck, that might help. But the easiest way for me is I'm gonna cut it off right here and actually make it so that I could still weld it if I have to put it back together at some point. And there we go, I got it cut off, used a Sawzall, uh, tried for a, a decently uh, best I could straight cut just in case I ever have to reuse this. But uh, we'll go ahead and pull the back end of it through the back of the truck. And uh, if anything, we're gonna be saving some weight because this thing is heavier than hell. There we go, we got it all out. Now, uh, sound wise, I don't really think that it's gonna change the sound very much, but we're gonna find out. So we're gonna go ahead and start installing the new exhaust. Now, if you haven't noticed, it's a muffler delete. There's no muffler in this, so uh, it could change the sound. So we'll see here in a minute. So looking at it, this is gonna be the first piece, this is the middle piece, and then this is uh, the tailpipe right here. So we're going to go ahead and get our hardware out and arrange everything and then we'll be uh, putting this bad boy in. Hardware wise, it comes with uh, the three bolts to bolt it up to the uh, stock exhaust with the gasket. And then we also have these clamps. Um, this clamp comes with the uh, hanger installed. So uh, the other hanger is actually on the exhaust over here. Right there. So it doesn't come with the rubber hangers. You'll have to reuse those from your existing system. And then uh, these are not locking uh, nuts. It does have a, a, a lock washer on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some thread locker on there just in case so that it doesn't back out. This is the first pipe we'll be installing. If you can tell, you can kind of tell, it actually curves this way. You want the curve to actually curve towards the drive line when you install this so that it has the little kick going towards the drive line. And there we go, we got the uh, exhaust here. It's just uh, hanging on here. 
Uh, I didn't tighten the bolts. I want to leave them loose just in case, but uh, we'll go ahead and put our uh, clamp here that has the hanger because the hanger will go right up to here to the stock location of the hanger. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, we'll just go ahead and take the hanger that slides right on there. That's going to go right up into the rubber hanger right there. And then we'll go ahead and get our uh, middle piece and then uh, snake it through the back and then have it here to connect. I went ahead, took off a rubber hanger off of the uh, old exhaust, put it on the new. Now we're going to go ahead and snake this through the uh, axle and uh, there we go. give you an idea of how to slip it over see how the hump is so the hump needs to go up and over we just put the large end onto the smaller end clamp it up and we're good with this section so I'm doing this all by myself and I was struggling a little bit to hold up the pipe and do this all by myself so uh, what I did was I just put it in the hanger back there to help hold it and then hopefully this will work a little bit better <laughs> got the clamp on so uh, I retract my previous statement of putting the clamp on this part of it it's actually better to put it on here because that's what you're going to tighten so put the clamp on this side and then just slide it on and then you won't have to mess with it now we'll just go put it in the hanger and then I don't want to tighten anything up because uh, I want to make sure that this is going to be tilted the right direction not hitting anything not potentially hitting anything and uh, then we can put the last tip on and then we're good to go. We could start this baby up and see if it changes the sound. At least I won't have the rattle. So that's all I'm worried about. All right, so here I am, I'm at the back. I have the uh, angled piece back right here. This is essentially the tip, I guess you could call it. We'll go ahead and put the uh, clamp on the end of here. Slide it onto there. And we'll be good to go. We have that piece installed kicking back right here we'll get a outside view of it here in a second but uh, now we're gonna just go ahead double check everything and then probably tighten it up and uh, we'll start this baby up all right so I have thread locker on all of the uh, nuts and bolts and we're going to uh, start tightening from the front all the way to the back so that uh, once these are all tightened up we can change the uh, direction and the uh, angle of our tailpipe in the back so it doesn't look a little weird or anything so we can do that one last and there we go we have the exhaust on that's what it looks like from the back here's from the side sick let's start this baby up you ready to start this up yes <laughs> look, look at you you ready you ready for this? I got my mustache. My yeah. whitey daughter. Why mustache. do you do that on? You do it on purpose. Why? I just draw a mustache <laughs> all day. All day. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll set you guys up right next to the exhaust. It it sounds the same way. Yeah, I think so. We didn't get much of a change in sound, but at least now we don't have the rattle, right? Yeah. It's way better now, huh? Yeah. Do a couple revs. I don't think that's going to matter, but we'll do a couple revs and uh, see how that sounds now. Dude. 
I think it sounded better when you hit the when we're hitting the gas, you know? Yeah. It sounds better? Yeah. I think it does. I think it sounds way, way, way cooler now with the uh, with no muffler because now you can actually hear the turbo a lot more. But uh, not a huge, huge difference, but it definitely sounds a lot cooler when you're revving it up. All right, guys, hopefully that video helped you out. Hopefully uh, this answered any questions you had. Um, make sure you uh, give the video a thumbs up, right? Thumbs up, give them a thumbs up. Yeah, and then uh, what else? What else do we say in our outros? A tripod, a white button, a red one. What? A red one. A red what? A red try button. Oh, hit the red subscribe button, you're right. Hit the subscribe button down below, make sure you do that. And uh, check out our other videos, my videos. Um, I got a lot of side-by-side -side videos, other truck videos. I'm working on truck videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. Peace out. Say peace out. Peace out.